here in the middle of this polar vortex with the all new Lamborghini Urus. And normally weather like this would be a complete disaster for driving any Lamborghini. But because this is an SUV, it is actually perfect for it. And because you guys already know that the Urus is super fast and ridiculously capable, I'm going to go over five things the Urus can do that a regular Lamborghini just can't. So the polar vortex dumped about a foot of snow where I live and the Urus has been handling it just fine. It is just so capable in the snow and there is no way in hell I would even consider driving an Aventador or a Huracan in conditions like this because that would just be a recipe for disaster. With all wheel drive and huge 22 inch winter tires, the Urus is an absolute beast in the snow. There's also a snow mode that helps you get through the really deep snow and the high ground clearance means you're not gonna be using your bumper to plow through. Number two, parking ramps and steep driveways. The last time I had a Huracan, there was no way in hell it would make it down this parking ramp without scraping or breaking the front splitter right off. The Urus has an air suspension that gives it a maximum of 9.8 inches of ground clearance, so going up and down this ramp wasn't even an issue. Number three, it has a real trunk. The last time I was driving a Lamborghini Huracan, the front trunk was so small it could barely fit a week's worth of groceries. This Urus doesn't have that problem. The Urus has 21.8 cubic feet of cargo space in the trunk, and if you get the model that holds three back there instead of two like the one we have, you could fold down the rear seats to get 56.4 cubic feet, which is plenty of room for all your stuff. Besides having room for all your stuff, the Urus can also hold four or five people. Try doing that with a Huracan. Number four, assist you with driving. This sensor right here is something that no other Lamborghini has and it makes the Urus capable of level 2 autonomous driving. The Urus is the first Lamborghini to come with all the driver assistance and luxuries we're used to seeing these days. That means stuff like adaptive cruise control, front collision warning and mitigation, lane centering and steering assist. Other useful features in the Urus and not other Lambos include a top-down 360-degree camera, a head-up display, night vision, four-wheel steering, massaging seats, and more. It also has wireless charging for your phone and will even remind you if you're about to leave without your phone. Your mobile device is still in the vehicle. This just scratches the surface of all the crazy tech in here and I haven't even mentioned the engine yet. It's a twin turbo 4 liter V8 with 640 horsepower and 627 pound feet of torque. That gets the Urus to 62 miles an hour in 3.6 seconds. Number 5, it coddles you. So this next one is a little bit strange. The Urus coddles you in a way that no other Lamborghini can. And here's what I mean by that. When I get into any other supercar, there's a little bit of fear. And I think that fear is what makes a supercar so fun and so dramatic. And you get into a supercar and it's like, I can kill you at any second. But the Urus is just like, don't worry, boo, I got you. And it makes you feel safe because it is so capable and so refined and so drama free. And I think that makes it a little bit less fun. And despite all that, the Urus is a fantastic car. It is so good to drive. It is nearly perfect in every aspect. It's refined, fast, and capable. But it does lack some of that supercar drama I come to expect from Lamborghini. And I think that makes the Urus a little bit less fun. The Urus is the most practical Lamborghini ever. And all of this is to say that you would have no problem daily driving this, where I would be really hesitant to do that with an Aventador or a Huracan. The Urus is just so, so capable at everything you want it to do. And it does all of that stuff remarkably well. Lamborghini is gonna sell a ton of them and they're gonna have a hard time keeping up with all the demand. <laughs> 